Yeah. Oh, so let's my. call the finance committee meeting to order at 5.37 p.m. on April 18th, 2023. Um, we will not do minutes because we didn't get an advanced copy of minutes, right? So we'll skip over, no worries. Um, so we'll skip over that. Um, the main thing for the evening is to get through the warrant. Um, one quick comment before that, when we met with the SCEMS folks a um, couple weeks ago, um, it was the, the point was raised that if we don't approve the same budget that the other towns do, um, that we would have to pull out of SCEMS or get kicked out of SCEMS or something. So I put the copy from the, just of the page in this section right here, um, C212 and three is the, what describes that. I will email the whole agreement to everybody. Um, if I didn't do that already, I don't think I did. So that you can just see it, um, that is there. Um, there are, couple of new budgets. Why don't we take those first? So let's start with the, what do you want? Treasurer collector salary, Brenda? Yeah, that's really, it's the only one that's changed from what you voted. All the rest of them were just to give you clean copies of what you previously voted. Hopefully okay. I didn't miss anything. Um, so the treasurer collector salaries, um, we did make an offer today to um, a gal to take the position of assistant treasurer collector. So based on what we offered her, this budget was changed just a little bit. Um, so it's and, 145, 50, 110, if anybody's yes. still looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I just reduced the overtime hours just a little bit because I, I just don't see the reason for overtime in that department as much as I see it in some of the other departments. So. I just thought since I was making the change anyway, I would I would make that additional change on this so we could revolt that. Uh, right. Gives us a savings of a thousand eight hundred and fifty four dollars. Do we have a motion? Make a motion to recommend the treasurer collector salaries account number one forty five dash fifty one ten in the amount of one hundred and fifty seven thousand six hundred and forty eight dollars. Second. Any discussion? Remote, right? All right, all those in favor? That's unanimous, four zero zero. You want to do snow and ice? Oh, sure. So that's just on this summary sheet. There's no separate. Page right, it's on it. page four. It's the last, last green. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all I did here was on the revenue side, I changed the amount of free cash that we would leave on the board at, uh, I changed it back to 175,000. When I did, revenues were 18,216,592. So I changed the snow and ice number so that we were spending exactly 18,216,592. Um, we will still be, from what I can see, close to $30,000 short in covering our snow and ice overage, but we'll just have to find room somewhere else in the budget to get that money from like from another appropriation or from the reserve fund. So if we, just so I understand, so if we didn't do that and we covered the extra 30,000 here, then our free cash at the end of this year would be 30,000 roughly less, but everything that we didn't take from those other appropriations would end up in free cash. Okay, say that again. If we if we decided to cover this with ninety five thousand dollars, whatever it is that with, we owe, with ninety five thousand, which is roughly thirty thousand more, with free cash now, right? 
So then our free cash would be 145 instead of 175. But then the money that we didn't take from the other appropriations will end up in free cash. It's six one half dozen of the other. Okay. Correct. Yeah. But Still affects thinking... free cash going down the road. Does this go into the regular snow and ice removal account? Or yes. is it a separate? But maybe salt's not going to cost as much next year. Huh. Don't we wish? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Okay. <laughs> so that's not your reasoning for now. No, no. I was just trying to get the budget to um, be balanced without taking too much from free cash. So we can either take more from free cash now, and that would let leave less to contribute to free cash on July 1. Or we can take it from an appropriation, which would also leave less cash, free cash on July 1. So it doesn't matter where you take it from. I just was concerned that we would have another appropriation that we could, that would have $30,000 in it to cover what's left to cover. You're concerned that that may not happen? Yeah. Budgets are looking really tight. And I don't know, I have no idea what they're going to spend between now and June 30, 30th, but you know, we have basically a quarter of a year to go. So so if we take ourselves nervous. down to 140,000 or whatever it is of free cash, um, that leaves us from July 1st until September, whatever, where when free cash gets certified with only 140. Thousand. Well, we're not going to have, we don't, on June 30th, free, free cash goes away. We don't have it. So you don't have it to spend that period anyway. Right, just... right. It isn't okay. spendable from the time that we close the books to the time that it gets recertified. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Right. So do we want a motion? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Okay. I make a motion to recommend $67,296 for snow and ice overage. Oh, the overage, right? So yep. Yes. Is the 67? 67,296. So that would just go Which into is the how much that is would it? be added to the existing snow and ice budget, or is this? Right now, yes. Yeah. Right. But it's so it doesn't change that budget line item in our book. Okay. It yeah. it is an authorized use of okay. so it's free not, cash. It's, it's just not, covering our overage. Right. Mm -hmm. right, but it does not go into the snow and ice account. Got it. Right, twenty twenty four. Yeah. I'm going to second just for the purposes of discussion. <laughs> okay. I would actually lean towards putting in the number that we owe. Okay. So that it's then next year when it shows up what we spent, it's evident that that's what was required for snow and ice this year okay the only reason uh fy 21 and 22 are zeros is because we covered that overage from reserve fund or from another appropriation just okay. because it wasn't a huge dollar amount um i can make that change and for tomorrow night we can vote it so i don't I'm open to discussion. No, like, so, you don't think that's necessary. <laughs> so the idea is typically each year. Um, so you're, you're you're talking about adding that 67 to not for the 24 budget number. No, you're still no. leaving that at, at 95. No. That's so, just covering the overage like we do every year. Right. And 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 that gets paid after June. Is that the idea? If you left this here, you would pay that next year no so so all this does is it is it basically boosts our budget for this year to cover because we have to cover every penny of snow and ice otherwise it has to be um in the tax recap next year so it has to be covered with taxes next year otherwise so we have the means, we have free cash. So usually we'll cover it with free cash. Although for a couple of years, we covered it with, um, I think it was a reserve fund transfer request. 
because we had money in the reserve fund and it was no big deal. Yeah. This year we have a tremendous amount of legal costs mm -hmm. that will have to be covered from the reserve fund. So the Not amount nice. to cover snow and ice through there is is Not reduced enough. greatly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. this so forgive me for sounding um uh, vague, but um this sum is covering what was spent this past winter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are checks you've actually already written. Correct. Right. Okay. So we kind of can't not do right. it. Yeah. <laughs> at, at this point, I think it was over 87,000. And I just looked, there's another bill for 7,800 in this coming warrant. So is there usually a warrant article that pays this? That's that's this. The oh, that article. is this. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. I was, and, I was and confused. And there's a, there's a placeholder in here for it. Like, okay. Good. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so we usually warrant article. Every, yeah, yeah every, every year we're like, oh, we're covering. So this is a special category, right? That snow and ice overage is a and a special category that's recognized that it, it's like the only budget line item you can overspend and right. then fix later. Correct. Right? For one of us, because you never Correct. know what it's going to be. Yeah. Was that's it? Right. Wasn't this the? Um, the budget page that we couldn't, we didn't want to raise it too much because you can never go back down. Exactly. Right. Yes, so you exactly. intentionally go under. Yeah. Yeah. And this is here to correct it. Yes. Exactly Thank you for right. saying that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That okay. gets us all up to speed, I think. Okay. So this is this is Article Five in the world. It is Article Five. Yep. I was just yep. going to say that. Thank you. I think it. I feel like if Brenda's at all uncomfortable that we're going to be able to come up with the funds out of other accounts that we should just go ahead and put in the amount that we know that we owe. For free cash. Right, from out of free out cash. From free yeah. cash. So we just bought that Which number, takes right? free cash we can down. Certainly, we can certainly do that. And I'll have that number tomorrow. I can have that. I just okay. need to confirm it with Diane and Kevin that there isn't anything else. Uh, I see what you mean. It's a placeholder right now, but you have other bills coming in still. Got it. Well, hopefully so that still... hopefully the the only bill is the one that's in there right now. It was the one that they held back with the, in the last warrant because Greg's needed to revisit their yeah. expenditure, and it turned out to be higher than what they'd originally billed us. So I don't uh -huh. know how that happened. Yeah, great. Well, they had the opportunity. <laughs> we gave them an opportunity. Yeah, well, we gave so them that... the opportunity because Chris thought it was supposed to be lower. Is that the yeah. um? Is that including this figure or you're going to add to that figure? Oh, well, this is just a figure that I stuck in here to make the right. ba budget balanced. Got it. So it, it'll change. Yeah, because it's like 95000 instead gotcha. of the What we're discussing is whether we should put the actual number in or leave the placeholder. Got it. That, that's where we're at. Yeah. I'm comfortable with the number here. I think we can find thirty-five thousand elsewhere or thirty thousand. Okay. But if you want to cover it all now, it, it it makes me a little nervous. But I know I know one account where for we have extra in, and it's one of the insurance accounts. I don't know if it's the school or the town, but so it's possible that we can be covering it from there. But haven't had a chance to analyze it any more closely because it's kind of hard to at this point in that game. I just found out I'm going to present the snow and ice budget. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You get to explain all I this. Get to explain all. <laughs> I have no idea. I had a question. Okay. So, so if we can't, so we, if say, we leave it like this and then you can't find the $30,000 somewhere. Is that become a reserve fund transfer? It well, if we don't have the reserve fund money, and we don't have, we can't cover it from anything else. Then it it has to be added to the tax recap and covered by taxes next year. No, but it could come from the reserve fund. It yeah. can if, if there's, there's money in the reserve fund. But I'm anticipating. A lot of legal. I'm thinking forty stuff. to forty-five thousand legal. So so that would leave. Forty to forty-five thousand in the reserve fund for everything else is probably okay, but so what do you have for bills right now? What's the value you have right now for Sunday? Seventy-eight. 
Well, no, I think I think the amount spent is like eighty seven thousand and change, and and there's another bill in there that I just saw, and I I don't remember if it was seventy eight hundred or eighty seven hundred, but there's another bill in there that's going to be paid next week. All right, so I'll just throw this out there, and we can discuss it. So I'll move that we amend the motion from 67,296 to 87,296, which puts 20,000 more in here. It reduces free cash from 175 to 155. So it gets close to what you have. We'll definitely be able to cover the extra yes. three to 10,000 that it right. has. Yes. Second. Any discussion on the amend motion to amend? No, it's money we're going to spend, so why not? Mm -hmm. 87 two ninety six. you said? 87 two ninety six. So yeah. right now it's 67 two ninety six. Right, just adding another 20 to cover. I already okay. wrote the checks, so. Yeah, the checks, yeah, that's out the door. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor of the amendment? All right. That's unanimous. 87. Um, right. All right. So now we have an amended motion for this item for 87296. Any discussion of that? All those in favor? All right. That's also unanimous. Free cash isn't on this page, right? It's on the revenue page. Right. Yep. Left right. part of the revenue page. It'll be 150. Yeah, and I had changed that today to be one hundred and seventy-five thousand. Oh, no, we okay. Just changed it would be, it would be one fifty-five. <laughs> well, it's fine. I mean, that's what that's what the I I, okay. I make lots of changes. <laughs> and Why don't you just make it a lot bigger? <laughs> that would solve all our problems. <laughs> wouldn't it? Right. Yeah. Just change just it. Pull that money out of so air. that one fifty-five. Yeah. Now. Um, could go down even further depending on what SCEMS votes tonight. Correct. Correct. Right. And what you're we still... vote based on what SCEMS votes. Correct. Because you still have in here that um, that was 20,000 or 10. 10. Uh, 10 it us. was 10 from an us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Just as a side note, SCEMS is spending 100% of their retained earnings. Yeah. All on, everything on the, every uh, dollar on the um so it just it medical just, wow that makes you very uncomfortable well i you know i knew it but i thought we were going to put off the the, the ambulance. ambulance so i thought right. well okay there's going to be a well, hundred thousand in there that'll be better so if they have a decent year and they haven't overspent their budget and they've taken in more revenues than they'd anticipated we're okay but what happens if they overspend or if if the revenues don't come in, I, I think it'll be okay. But you know, you did, wow, when these when you spend a hundred percent of your retained earnings, that's a that's a yeah, big deal. It is. Yeah, it is. Um, well, a hundred thousand of that is no, they're going to be okay because um, we're all going to vote the ambulance. And that's all you said. That all goes into their retained earnings as essentially as soon as it gets voted, right? No. So, so uh, all I was saying is that if each town contributes to that ambulance, that's less money that they'd have to take out of retained earnings in the fall to spend on an ambulance. Mm -hmm. So they'll have more retained earnings to apply to the next year's budget than they would have otherwise, because we're contributing money from other sources towards that ambulance. Oh, so when we vote the ambulance funds, it doesn't go into the retained earnings budget? Mm -mm. Uh, so they just have, they have 100,000 in retained earnings that they're spending on an ambulance and 60,000 of that-ish will go to the chassis when they order the chassis. So they'll have 40,000 left until the ambulance comes due. And one fifty of that is also going to the medical pumps, right? Right, right. So Didn't what? So the amount. So I anticipate putting the ambulance into a capital projects fund, since there's so many different yeah. sources. Applying the retained earnings to that, 
and then um, and then the money's coming from each of the towns. I don't know. I might change my mind when I get around to actually putting the things on paper, but right. that, I guess that's the way I thought I'd take care of it. Yeah, put it all together in one pot. Okay, let's tackle the warrant. Yeah. Should we start at the beginning? Sure. We will go article by article. So I may like to make a motion on article one. Um, <laughs> no. What's the motion supposed to be here? So the motion would say that finance committee recommends article okay. one. Okay, and, uh, yes, um, I move that we um, um, recommend passage of article one. Second. Okay. So I did check the elected officials' compensation, and it matches what's in our book. Yep. <laughs> Glad somebody else is doing um, that. Yes. <laughs> the monetary gifts, I have nothing to compare that to. Yeah, just, I, and as a side note there, Historic Deerfield has contributed everything that they're going to contribute to the elementary school roof. I just thought I'd okay, they're done. mention that they're done. That's they're why done. you don't see anything from Historic Deerfield. Um, you mean they put it towards the roof versus? Well, they did 5,000 per year for five years, whereas Got everybody it. else was doing a certain yep. amount right. per 10 right. years. Yeah. And Historic Deerfield doesn't normally give each year they they were just giving to the roof is that the interview well no they used to give regularly i thought okay maybe not maybe it was just to the roof i can't remember okay yeah. okay and the library the tilton library the 1278 matches i didn't have anything to check the 225 against or maybe i did the notice yeah and the 1503 you had voted um on our budget sheet And then E just says that if somebody applies for a grant, the select board can accept it. F says that the select board can make contracts. Up to five and years. B says the assessors can make contracts up to five years. Right. So any questions on any of this? Casey, do you have anything you want to add? No, I think that one's pretty straightforward. So the motion is basic, and I literally, I was, you guys started and I was gonna ask you if I could read something, Julie. Basically the motion is, I move the town approve article one as set forth in the warrant on the following matters, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay. Any discussion? Questions? No. All those in favor? That's unanimous. Four zero zero. Thank you. Um, Article two's motion is very similar. Okay. And this is all the stuff we've already done. And we've already gone through all this. Yep. So Correct. we have a motion for this one. I make a motion um, that the finance committee. Approve Article Two. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right. Article Three. What are you raising your hand for? So this is to establish the You're maximum involvement. Huh? <laughs> You're not on our committee. I didn't say anything. No, you raised your. No, it was me. <laughs> Oh, are you pointing to her? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't I raise my hand. I saw you raise your hand, too. Me? <laughs> if they were sure. No, I reached for that. this. Oh, okay. uh, no. That's it. <laughs> All right. You Article 3. You what you were looking at. <laughs> Article 3. So this says, this is just a limit on how much can go through the fund in a year. Yeah, is this, what? this is just authorization of the spending limits for the revolving funds under chapter 44, section 53, E and a half. And so we can't spend more than those dollar amounts and we never do. So 
I think we're good to go on that one. Um, I actually had a question on this because the balance, I think, in one of those accounts is higher than this. I think it's the recycling account. Probably. Um, it's like 30,000 ish. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay though. Yeah. Okay. Julie, basically the motion says, I move the town approve this as set forth in the warrant. Oh, okay. I make a motion that the finance committee approve article three. Second. Yeah, I guess Julia, I, um, I, we originally based those numbers on what we would normally spend out of those accounts. And 20,000 more than covered what we would normally spend out of recycling. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're happy. <laughs> I just noticed that there was more in that account than that. So we yeah. can't spend it all in one year, which is probably right. fine. You wouldn't want to, no. Yeah. Any discussion? All those in favor? That's unanimous. Class comp plan, Article 4. Do we have a motion? Make a motion that the Finance Committee uh, recommend yeah. Article 4 as written. Second. All right. So I, and I checked that this, this was the same one that I have in my binder. That yeah, I checked, I checked is. mine too, to make sure that it agreed with all of my okay. numbers uh, that are in the budget. So it's kind of off, it's a formatting problem, but. It's a formatting problem. It's the cost of living adjustment for personnel approved. What's that? This approves, this includes the cost of living adjustment for personnel. Yes, that's correct. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor? It's unanimous, four zero zero. Article five. Snow and ice. We have a motion. We already moved that one. No. Um, we we approved the dollar amount, but we haven't recommended the article yet. Right. Right. <laughs> Make a motion that. Uh, the finance committee recommend article five is written. Second. Now, do we want to, we have, this one doesn't have a dollar value in it because we hadn't voted it yet. Right. Um, so I, we, what we have done in the past in cases like this is say, when the finance committee approves it, we prove it up to some dollar value oh, so that right. we're not giving sort of blanket approval for any number. What was the yeah. dollar value that we recommended? 87,296. Did you get that, Casey? 87 or 67? 87. 87. We added 20,000 to it. Okay. So it's so 87,296. That's what I just put in the motion. Yep. yep. I'd like to amend my, my motion to uh, recommend Article 5 uh, with a sum of money up to $87,296. Second. All those in favor of the amendment? Is any discussion? All those in favor of the item? All right, that's unanimous. So, um, Casey, that this this warrant has been posted or whatever, right? Correct. So it won't the warrant won't change, but the handout will the handout yes. have the dollar value in the body of the article or just it'll have the dollar value in the motion, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, and I just changed the recommendation according to the amendment that Mark just did okay. to say recommended by finance committee up to $87,296. Beautiful. Thank Roughly. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Roughly. And if I wasn't on this committee, I would ask at the town meeting, why is it such a finicky amount? Why isn't it just like 87 three? Um, because the other thing that's going to happen is SCEMS is going to come back and it's not going to be any of the 5,000 change. It's going to be a $5,107. We're going to be off. So. <laughs> Whatever. Well, we'll just rev change revenues, adjust revenues to, to yeah. cover it. Yeah. All right. Article 6. So that's the omnibus budget, which we basically have just... Is SCEMS mm -hmm. part of them? Voted. Nope, SCEMS is not, not part of the uh, omnibus so, budget. So your yeah. grand total on the omnibus budget is 17482659 And I don't have the table for that yet, Brenda. Nope. 
Sorry, Julie, I just wanted to make a note. I have a note in my guide to insert the table. It's kind of hard to do that in my sleep. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just letting everybody know. Especially since we just changed it. Right. I know. That's why I don't have the table. <laughs> so that's, we've done everything in the budget. The only thing left is scouts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do we have a motion? All right. I move that we recommend spending up to seventeen million four hundred eighty-two thousand six hundred fifty-nine on the omnibus budget, Article Six. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Painfully so, but yes. <laughs> All right. Article Seven. So. Article seven, Casey, you want to explain how we're going to handle that since it's going to be in the CPA motion? Yes. So I had a conversation with council today and the moderator, and this was a request from Frontier. So when I finished the warrant up, I left it in this way because at the time I didn't know what the, the actual answer from CPC was. Um, this did go before CPC. They did approve the money, but what we're going to do, I think, is this article may be passed over and addressed in the CPA funding article, which is further in. It's Article 11, I think. There's two ways you can handle it. We could take the CPC article first and then take Article 7, but if we provide all the same information, and ask for the and confirm the funding in the CPA article, then we could pass this one over too. I think. I know it's confusing. It's legal. <laughs> Do we need a warrant article that approves the full hundred thousand dollar expenditure that gets approved at town meeting? So that was the reason that Frontier sent it. I think I can take that same table and insert it into the CPA article, that motion, and so people can see it. It's already produced. It's just the funding source is going to move from a separate place into the CPA funding. And so that was a piece of information. I didn't have all of that when we were pulling this together, Julie. Julie, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> and and. I think it made sense to leave it in the CPA article because then it it follows the whole, um, all the other motions for what we're spending out of the estimated revenues for fiscal 24. So I haven't moved the table yet, Brenda, but I did put your motions in for the okay. CPA article. I just haven't made that adjustment with the table. And I don't know how the other towns did this. So your your question, Julie, is a good one. So do we just need to vote on this to get it on the floor and then not recommend it? If they pass it over and deal with it in CPA, um, it's moved. Or maybe maybe the motion needs to state that that the town. Approve. No, that doesn't even make sense. Never mind. Right, because even if you approve it in concept, right. in this article, you still have to approve the funding through CPA. Or just to approve the expenditure with the appropriation coming from an article later on. Ah, I don't know. That seems well, so the question, the works. legal question was, how can you approve this article if you haven't approved the funding? So that's why they considered passing over and dealing with it in the CPA article. Why do we need the article at all? Because so the process with Frontier is when they request an article, you put an article in. I but know, at but the time, so Trevor, understand, I didn't know they were I asking know. for funding through CPA. No, I, I know that. Yeah, so it made sense. But I think we could just pass this over because the funding is in there. It That's what matter. I think you should probably do. Yeah. It went back and forth between council and Dan. Right. And we, we didn't know if CPA would this. fund it either. And it just feels like I think we could pass this over on town meeting and just say this is addressed later on. You can see, you know, that we 
Right, with a top towns are, are funding it, but it's not up to frontier how we fund it. We just, just you know. Right, it's just up to frontier to get the article request in. Yep. And then we so can... that's how it's written. The motion is actually written in CP, the CPA article, which I think is 11, to fund this mm -hmm. through CPA funds. I just okay. need to make sure the table's there so people can see the split between the towns. I have printed the CPA article for everybody, oh, the motions. Um, oh, great. Where, oh, here it yeah. is. I just copied and pasted it into the document, Brenda. Did you? Oh. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, you got that. Yeah. So, so yeah, I went back and forth with Frank, uh, Leon, oh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Lily White on this today, and got made sure I had all the correct language, all the right dollars, and um, they've approved these motions as they are. That sounds good. So yeah, I think we could. What I could do is I could put a motion to pass over and let Lisa and Dan comment on it. Yep. That's perfect. How's that? Yep. Okay. So, so how would you look? So we do don't we, do we know so we don't do anything with this bless you so. so we don't we so do we just skip it yeah I, we've done that last year mm -hmm. Is it, that that way. it really okay now that we have everyone else here let's move on article eight. so article eight is for the sewer for the wastewater treatment plant And this is based on what we had voted. It's just that the operating expenses are split out. Um, indirect costs have to be accounted for separately and the operational reserve that USDA requires is separate so they can see that we are um, uh, accounting for what they want us to account for. Make a motion to recommend article eight as written. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? And that passes four zero zero. I just finished putting that motion into just so everybody knows. Great. Thanks. We're gonna skip article nine until tomorrow. Yep. Great. Article ten. Oh, Article Excuse 10 me. is capital. Article 10 is capital. So would you like me to actually I could screen share this if you want. Yeah, me too. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't know what the final dollar amount is now that we changed it. Ha, I have that. Thanks to Julie. Okay. Can you see the FY24 town meeting guide? Yes. Okay. So I took what you gave me, Julie, and pulled out the things that were future projects and put in, well, took out a couple, like I took the ARPA source out because it's not something town meeting right. has to approve. Um, so we have the sales of real estate, capital can, stabilization, and SCEMS retained earnings. Can you zoom um, in? And I'm going to fill out the retained earnings piece right here where you see right here. Um, I just haven't, I haven't added the word, two words. So- would, would you be able to zoom in, Casey? Yeah. I haven't reformatted certain things, so just bear with me. Okay, can you see it? Yes. All right, so we have 125,000 from sale, sale of real estate sales of real estate, sales of real estate for the elementary school projects of front entry and air conditioning in that amount of 125. We have capital stabilization in the amount of $467,343 for the purchase of the Freightliner and the balance of 142,343 for the ambulance. The board voted that on Friday. And then we have additional funds in $100,000 through retained earnings for the ambulance and $150,000 for the cardiac monitor replacements for SCEMS. 
and then there's a so the senior housing i just hadn't taken the senior housing piece out yet because that's going to get dealt with in cpa funds i just hadn't pulled it out yet i was still working on the table when we started so do we have to vote the scams retained earnings expenditure yes yes okay i would think, think so. so yeah so you'll see i wrote the art i wrote the motion for the totals and then referenced as presented in this guide so they can see the table which we've done in the past just slightly we didn't always do the funding sources in this case having those funding sources outlined people can see the numbers so is this going back to cipc i i i i don't i don't know um i mean this this isn't cipc's final plan like i i know that this was something that you know was mod was it friday mm -hmm. yes so changed so, so CPA, CIPC presents a plan to the select board. The select board has a hearing on it and they determine, you know, you guys have seen these before. They determine what they want to do and what they don't want to do. They put two projects off. Yeah, and in the in the past, it hasn't been kicked back necessarily. Um, this kind of puts me in a weird right. position since I'm on the finance committee though. Well, understand that the two other things that happened, which is why I sent the email out on Friday, is they approved the permitting software and the sander body from ARPA funds. Mm -hmm. So the two projects they put off was the were the loader and the F three fifty. Yeah, the truck for highway. With with the agreement that you would spend money out of ARPA to fix the one loader, correct? The loader if necessary. Yep. Yeah, I saw that too. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean we can't put information in about what will be spent from ARPA funds. Um, it's just a question of whether the whether those whether to add those talking points. Sorry. Yeah, because they don't have to be voted on. Right. right. But it would be nice. It would be nice to tell people what we're doing with it, you know. And um, I know that you haven't had time yet, but I know that Tim was asking for kind of like a where. She's already done it. I just haven't sent it yet. Oh, okay. So like a chart of what we had, <laughs> yeah. yeah, got given to the town and where we've kind of allocated it so far. So. Right. I sent her a. I sent Brenda a request on Friday. I didn't expect to get it, but you know, no. <laughs> I did. Yeah. In your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I mean about saying something in talking points. We could say, okay, these two projects were funded through ARPA funds, which are a select board vote. Mm -hmm. Um, because we presented what capital projects were funded through ARPA funds last year, too. Yeah. yeah. We did, which was nice because that helped me put together the spreadsheet that I did today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we should include it for sure. I just haven't had a chance to forward the email because I've been working on the motions and talking to council. We have a motion. We don't have a motion. I may like to make a motion that we recommend that. Okay, she's got it all right there if you want to. Oh, all right, I move that we. Rec okay, I move that we recommend um, Article 10 as written. Do you have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Discussion. I have a question. Um, I've heard the comment go by that there's rumors out there that some the federal government may pull back ARPA funds that weren't spent. Yep. No, they're trying. They're trying. Some some members of Congress are trying to do that to cover other things that Biden wants. 
That's why we're very concerned about not having things allocated and not spending. Right. So if you obligate. So the, the rationale behind this, this is me talking, not anybody on the select board, is that we had a bunch more in the ARPA thing. And the hope is that um, that we'll be able to pull enough funds together to do the 1888 building by this fall. Mm -hmm. And there's the potential, we, we've like cleared the first hurdle of many hurdles towards a $4 million earmark from Congress. There's funds in the um, CPA fund that are there. That's another million mm -hmm. and something sitting there and then possibly another million if, if the park doesn't go through. And then if we can use the rest of the ARPA funds and we use the, you know, so we're starting to get close to the dollar value of the 1888 building. Right. Um, so that's my understanding of the rationale of not using the ARPA funds now. Right. And we, um, oh. go ahead. And we felt um, it's exactly right. And because we felt like, so I'll, I'll just say my two cents of why I voted this way is that, um, I didn't, last year we supported a lot of capital out of the ARPA and we really wanted to use that for a large one-time project like the 1888 building and the, and the Leary lot and not capital that we should be funding out of different ways of funding, out of taxation yeah. or however we do it. Right. Um, and that um, Julie's is right, if we could mold all that money together, but if we got to the fall, there were other rumors we could you know there's plenty of sidewalks to do there's plenty of other projects that really if we you know if we heard real rumblings like they're coming after it we can allocate that and get get that stuff going right away there's so many other projects that it needs that we could spend it on right away but we really want to gear it towards these one-time very large expenses and if it can seed money and grant money and you know and the earmark money to get something large going, that would be the best use of that money. But I'm just one opinion. That sounds, uh, I don't know that that sounds right because we're, we're, we're switching one capital expenditure for an ambulance, are we? Are, are yeah. we, like we're saying no to cap, some capital to do more capital? Well, we don't, what, what are you talking about? I'm talking about like ditching the, the two things that we recommended for the highway department to make right. room for an ambulance capital expenditure. I yeah. think I think the reason for that is because the other two towns are going to vote the ambulance, so we're stuck. We yeah. wouldn't have. If, if they weren't going to vote that this year, we were hoping to just take it all from retained earnings, but we right. felt like we had to make sure that something was appropriate in case the other two towns did it. And so we pulled it from from capital, hoping that by the time that rolls around, mm -hmm. there's enough rate retained earnings, we don't have to pull it from the capital, but it's yeah. sandwiched for that. And we I, honestly, I feel like we should fund our, our capital and not through a one-time windfall from the federal government. It should be planned for. And so that's kind of where we're at and use that for a larger expenses. But So in my analysis, you have... 647,000 left that hasn't been committed, but you have a problem with the HVAC project the at the police department, and you've got these other things that you're wanting to do. Plus, I thought the Leary lot might be more than what you'd originally intended. Right. So um, it, it's just that all of those funds have to be committed by the end of 2024 yep. and they have to be spent by 2026. Yep. Mm. Um, and like I said, there's that, or Julie mentioned, there's that possibility that they could pull that back if we haven't spent it. So. And with the ARPA, it gave us flexibility to do mid-year stuff. Like if, if, if we need to fix that thing, or for some reason the truck breaks down, we could immediately purchase that not that we'd want to, but we could we could bail out somebody quick if if there was a major something went wrong. We have that flexibility to to do that. We'd bring it before you guys anyways and say, hey, you know, this is kind of what we're thinking. Um, 
And we felt like let's let's get a solid number on that loader at the transfer station, unless I'm missing something major and there's a major problem with the one at the town garage now, because I assume that's where the new one would go and that one would go to there. But I think that one's in pretty good shape. We're really just getting rid of that other one. And we felt, you know, yes, it, it definitely needs work. It needs hydraulic pistons and the steering shaft rattles and it doesn't go forward all the time. But I thought, well, if we could figure that out for sure. And it's not 220 something thousand, it's 40, we would do that. We could do that anytime and spend it. Transmissions are not cheap. No, it just doesn't go forward. <laughs> yeah, once in a while it gets stuck. I didn't want to go forward. But for for what that machine does there, we do have many other pieces of equipment that could run up there and scoop. It's not like there's no nothing else in the bucket in town. Okay. So this table is different than what you presented to us. Yeah because the ambulance is on it and other things are off. And, and the loader and the pickup truck have come off. They're, they've been delayed. I think that's pretty much. And I think the ambulance, it sounded like you have to pay a certain amount of money right up front and then you don't pay the rest until you get your ambulance, which was predicted to be like in two years. But yet we have to vote it all at one time. Yeah. They can't order it if they don't have a source uh, of funds. correct guaranteed yeah. source. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think they pay anything down until the chassis is built, or they're at least until they're working on the chassis, right? Yes. So, unfortunately, okay. there's no way to spread this out over multiple years. No, I, like, like you have to have the. You have to have the appropriation and the funding source in order for them to order it. Yeah, it has to be encumbered first, I think, right? Casey, can I share my screen for a sec? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I was about to do that anyway. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Ah, that's too big because now you can't see what um, the columns are. There we go. All right. So this is, these are all the items on here. So the two, this is what we just said, but the yeah. two that got moved were the 70,000 and the 255. So this is the loader. That we were just talking about, and this is the pickup truck. Essentially, well, an F three fifty. In the highway, still getting something because they had four things. So highway, seeing. they have four things. So they're getting the freight liner truck still, and they're getting this sander dump body. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's not listed because it was on ARPA. Because it's on ARPA. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And we could. You reevaluate in the fall if you know for some reason we wanted to use next year's free cash to do some of these other. The only correction I have to you to your spreadsheet is that they have six hundred and forty-seven thousand left after those two expenditures. Oh, after okay. Oops, and it's not exact, but right. six forty-seven and yeah. change or whatever somewhere around there. I'll just take that off entirely. Thank you. Okay. So discussion. It is, although it's a change to what we talked um, about before. So change in the direction. Yeah. Maybe see the Not well, this, but yeah. Yeah. Right. So we have a motion and a second. Oops. That's the wrong place. To recommend, I don't know how we word this though. The other ones that didn't have a dollar value in the article, we, we gave you're, you're a muted. total. 
Casey, you're muted if you're talking to us. Oh, I think oh, she's talking. I'm to actually you. talking to. Okay, to good. Trevor, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, um, <laughs> I thought she was giving us the downward moment. So yeah. yeah <laughs> so I don't know. I forgot. We can recommend this based on the chart that we just saw. Yeah, I guess. What was the amount in the chart? Uh, it was one hundred and twenty-five thousand from sale of real estate. Um, what was it? Four sixty-seven. Three forty-three from um, capital stabilization, and two hundred and fifty thousand from Skims retained earnings. Okay. Oh, I just did too. <laughs> I was laughing at you. So we have a motion and a second for this article. Any further discussion? Should we put these numbers in? Yeah. Uh, like amend the motion. Um, to see to, what Brenda just said. Change, yeah, to change some to these three numbers. Second. Any discussion on the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment? All those, uh, any discussion on the whole article? All those in favor of the article? All those against? Okay, so that passes 310 with the 400 on the amendment. All right, article 11. We have CPC and we have the motions on a separate page. Right. All right. So, what did I do with my mm -hmm. motion? Did you Um, I opposed. Sorry. What opposed? Yeah. Anything else? What do we have left? We have CPC we're talking about. Um, deed restriction. He's going to talk about, uh, Casey's going to talk about the opioid capital stabilization and the money to put into okay. that. There's the frontier capital stabilization, the opioid thing. Uh, changing town meeting date. Is that still in or did I? Say that again, Julie. The town meeting date? Yes, that's still there. I did okay. have a conversation with council about it. Okay, um, we'll get to that in a bit. Um, the town clerk's time. office on Saturday. Okay, that we get to pass over. I had asked for some clarification about whether we had accepted it, and we have. So we're going to pass that one over. Oh. We passed it. Yeah. We accepted that one back in 2007. Oh, we did it. Good. That's oh, handy. Nice. Okay. I know. I love it when we can pass Thank over. Thank you, Barb. Yeah. <laughs> Even when I look stupid sometimes. Oh, yeah. So is there any of that that you feel like you want to? No. I'm okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't want so to. Pleasure. Me, Thanks, Trevor. I, I'm sorry. I was talking. He was telling me he was leaving, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See ya. I have lost where we were. Article 11. CPC, article 11. 11. Do you want a motion first or go? Yeah. So what I'm thinking is that maybe our motion isn't each of these dollar values, but that it's that we approve the, the ones whole. on a separate sheet or something. Thank you. Yeah. Make, so we need a motion. This is why I mute myself, people. <laughs> I make a motion uh, that the finance committee approve article 11. Um, all, do I have to do anything special? All the motions on the separate sheet of paper. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to say? Just say, right yeah, now, I guess. But, okay. We have a second. Second. All right. So do you want me to talk about them? Yes, please. So the first motion is for the subsidized senior housing feasibility study and land acquisition request. Um, that's by the ad hoc senior housing committee. It's for 572,000. They had intended for all of that to come from the reserve for community housing. However, um, 
the requirement of the CPA commission is that you have 10% of your expected revenues that either get spent for each category or reserved for each category. So um, the anticipated revenues are 430,000. So 43,000 would have had to go into senior housing reserve anyway, or be spent. So um, this uses 43,000 from the estimated revenues and the rest of it from the reserve for community housing. And they did that on purpose so that there was uh, a majority of money left in the undesignated fund balance to be able to be used towards the 1888 building currently. Yeah. Um, you want me to keep going through the rest of them or do you want to talk about this one? So my understanding is that some of it, they, they have a straight dollar value for the subsidized senior housing feasibility study, which went through that that's 85,860 that went through CIPC. Um, mm -hmm. And then the remainder is the potential purchase of additional oh, okay. land or something, right? Is that what it's for? I guess. I, I I didn't dig into it in that much detail. I saw the the request for money, and there were several different numbers. But Lily um, corrected me on the amount that they were asking from CPA. So that total hasn't gone through the CIPC, right? Just it has not. Uh, it has not. No. Uh, I, I, yeah, that was. Um, it may potentially go through on Thursday, um, but it has not gone through yet. Lily was apparently not aware that that needed to go to capital. Um, so she was informed today. We posted a meeting for CIPC for Thursday. So for, for before the information session? Yes, it's at five o'clock. Okay. Yeah, and I can't be in three places session? at once. So six. 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 Okay. And that did get posted today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found it. There. Okay, good. <laughs> Forgot to check that before four. Okay. All right. Um, so we could wait and vote this like right before town meeting. If we want to wait until CIPC discusses it, or I think that would be good. Voted at the information session or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know who all is going to be. Is everybody going to the information session? I put it on my calendar. I don't think I can go. Oh. Um, I I wasn't planning on going, but I I might be able to make that work. That still only gives us three. We need four for a quorum, so right. I don't know what the other folks are doing. Um. We generally post a finance committee meeting right before town meeting in case we have anything left to discuss. Mm -hmm. um, let's go ahead and go through the rest of these so that we've at least discussed it once. All right. So the second motion is for the tennis courts. And uh, you'll see it's for the town's share of the Frontier Regional Tennis Courts Reconstruction Project request. That's the one that's in article... Um, what article is that? Seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Article seven. Yeah. And since the minimum of 43,000 needs to be put into open space reserve anyway, um, I know they'd intended for that to come out of the reserve, but it didn't make sense. So it's coming out of um, estimated revenues. The oh, total for 48,693? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it makes sense to cut it, cut it up. It it's minuscule. The difference. Forty three, and then the five thousand. What's that? Yeah, yeah right. Um, then the um, the next motion is for seven hundred dollars towards the preservation of forty five account books um, that are being kept by Deerfield residents that cover a period of just about three hundred years. And last year we had proved $800 towards the preservation of the Williams and, I can't remember, Williams and Ware families, I think they were. And so this is just a continuation of that um, uh, small dollar amount to apply to that. 
So then there's a motion. Okay, because we've spent now with the two previous motions, we spent all of our required amount for open space and all of the required amount for community housing, but the that motion for the historical preservation is only $700. So the remainder of the 43,000 that's required for historic preservation is going into the reserve. So mm -hmm. that's 42,300. Um, the next motion is just boilerplate. It's for um, administrative expenses. They never spend that much, but it's there just in case they need to. And then the last motion takes all the all the rest of the estimated revenues for fiscal 24 and puts them into a budgeted reserve and that sits there until we we actually hit the button on the tax recap and then you can't do anything with it it'll go into undesignated fund balance but if they come up with another project that is an emergency that they need to spend the money on they could do that at the special town meeting in the fall as long as that's before we set the tax rate. So that just sits there until the end of the fiscal year and then just gets rolled into undesignated fund balance. Okay. Julie? Yeah. Um, so do you want me to do, indiv and I sort of heard you guys talking about it, but do you want me to do individual individual recommendations for each motion since you're not, since there isn't any complete positivity about the first motion? No, I think what we're gonna do is wait on the entire- Okay, for Monday? Article and vote it on Monday before town meeting. Perfect, thank I, you. I do have a procedural question. Is this, so this whole article will be presented as one, dish to the town and it's either up or down for all of it no it's separate so they're going to go okay so the town will go through it sub motion by sub -motion. yeah each item to be considered a separate appropriation all right, right. So. so the overarching article jim is presented as notification that they will address community preservation funds that's why it's just one short blurb right i see and we include the fund balances now, although after my conversation with council and the moderator, from now on, we need to include each of the project requests and the amounts. They want a table. Okay. In the warrant or in, in the- In the warrant. Yeah. Get our act together. <laughs> Sooner. Well, we did it when we were preparing as much as possible to keep to facilitate town meeting quickly during COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this year we didn't have all the information. And so they're still, we're still go, finishing up a process. For the time, I, you know, could have gotten to this last week if I'd worked extra hours, but no, didn't. Time time. so many, so many extra hours you can work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a motion and a second on the table. Um, we can, what do you call it when you pull back your motion? Retract. Yeah. Withdraw. 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 Do you want to withdraw your motion, though? Yeah. Would you like to? It was your motion. Okay. I withdraw my motion. <laughs> and Mark, you withdraw your second. I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So why are we withdrawing this motion? Just because it, it has CIPC. not gone to CIPC. And just want to have the yeah. clear. Yeah. It's under there. All right. Now where are we? It's Article 12. Or is that 11? 12. Casey, do you want to explain Article 12? Yes. So this is the, I think the second time we've had to address this. Um, so this relates to a CPC or Community Preservation Act 
allocation to PVMA to do some rehabilitation of the, I think it's the Indian house, right? Yeah. Basically, we still have not gotten approval from Mass Historical Commission that was identified in the motion. There's a certain requirement that they have to sign off on in order for us to put a deed restriction on this property, which was what was requested during the motion in 2019. So that being the case, they're relatively slow to respond, as you might have guessed. We asked for an extension last year, and this what's being requested by PVMA is to change the wording in the town meeting vote to say that the appropriation shall be contingent upon a historical preservation deed restriction for present and future owners, which may be done in two steps. So the first step would be a an indication that the deed restriction will happen. And then once MHC, Mass Historic Commission, signs off, we would file the deed restriction. Um, it is a little bit complicated, and this language for the article came from a collaboration between our town council, Lisa Mead, and PVMA's council, Donna McNichol, to address the problem. And basically, the reason is, is PVMA, without getting this deed restriction put on, PVMA can't get reimbursed. And this project ends on June 30th. Correct. So what is the nature of the deed restriction? MHC hasn't inspected or signed off on the work. So I think the deed restriction generally says something like you can't destroy the building since CPA funds right. are used for it. Right. Basically. Or without like town it's, approval it's, or something it's like that. Significant. Right. Yeah. I just didn't know what deed restriction. I mean, I would assume it would be something. How does this affect town finances? That's kind of what I'm wondering. Can we just not? So I guess what would happen if it didn't get approved and they didn't get the process done is that they wouldn't get the money from CPA funds. That is correct. And then the funds would roll back or just stay in the CPA. So PVMA would have expended all this money with the promise the town would pay for it and then because of the language that currently exists in in that vote um that permanent deed restriction isn't filed yet because mhc hasn't done their work so what's what the intent here is to allow pvma to file the file a something at the registry that says we intend to do this so that we can pay them for the work they did. It was approved at town meeting before the end of the fiscal year, which is the extension period, like Brenda said. So it does mean that you would presumably then be on the hook for it out of non-CPA funds if they can't use CPA funds for it. Since the town voted to spend the money, or did the town specifically vote to allocate CPA? We voted, we voted for CPA CPA. funds. So if we don't spend the CPA funds, they're out of it, right? They're out of yeah. the funds. They are. Balance our cases. <laughs> Um, and if we don't, if we just say we don't have an opinion on it, but... we've said that. Before. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. Make no recommendation. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no motion, so let's just. Well, do we need to make the record? Uh, I'm trying to remember how we've worded it before. Well, in the past, we have. We're on Finance some items, we have specifically said we make no record, like makes the, no record. changing the state flag, I think. 
Yeah. Um, but I think you voted on it to make no recommendation, yeah, we did. right? I can't hear what Jim just asked. Oh, I was just saying that in the past we have voted to make no, we have, you know, explicitly made no recommendation for things like the motion to change the state flag. Yep. So the argument for that was that there was no particular financial impact to the town. Um, in this case, it this does have a financial fact, impact, right, Julie? Yeah, because we would get the money back if we didn't. Well, you it. haven't expended it. That's the problem. It hasn't been expended. It would be sort of backing out on our promise. Right. Exactly. And so PVMA was trying to find a workaround since MHC won't commit to when they will come out, inspect the work, and sign off on it. Can we just extend the CPA funds for another couple of years? You could, but we can't do it using this article. Oh, good point. Okay. I'd just like to make a motion to recommend Article 12 as written. Second. Any discussion? Already All those in favor? Uh, it's unanimous. Move on. Article 13. Don't we do this? Um, so Article 13 is just to allow the uh, Frontier Regional to establish a capital stabilization stabilization fund. I think all the towns have to vote it. So this was on like last year or something and then got passed over, right? I, there was another one. There was, there, yeah. there was an there article, was a but I don't remember what it was. Go ahead, Casey. Well, there was a discussion. So I was told there was a discussion about this and then it sort of got lost in in questions about which town wanted didn't want to deal with it or might not have put it on their warrant um i guess it's been discussed for a while years was what i was told so the intent here is to approve each town has to approve this but i have to tell you the quantum majority on this is not two it's um it's not two-thirds i but I'm going to check and make sure it's two thirds of the school committee. I don't know that it's two thirds of each town. So I'm going to check. Um, but I'm also sending this to council. So she makes corrections when she catches that I haven't put a, a majority on there or something. So just know that this is, this was a, again, a request from FRS to include this for approval for all four towns. So it doesn't put any money into the account. And in the future, if money were to be put into the account, it would be part of the budget that we then a review. Apparently it would be it would be in the assessments that that frontier assesses us. So it would right. be in there. Yeah. In the assessments. So what happens with the school choice money right now? If it doesn't get used for several years, does it just sit in an account of FRSs? I would assume it does, just like it does with um, with DES here for the town. I can't imagine it would be different. Yeah, um, I I'd like right. to make a motion to recommend Article Thirteen is written. Second. Any discussion? Well, I I do have a question. So, if it's currently just going into their free cash, we can call it that. Um, they can spend that on capital funds or on operating expenses. This would lock it into capital expenses only, right? I don't know that it says that those have to go there, but it says funds from other sources such as school choice and E&D. Right. I'm sure that they would allocate as they saw fit or as they had funds right. available. But right now, I mean, they can still spend what's in their bank account on, you know, they could say, well, we're using the free but cash it, from last year or whatever. I think if they have too much E&D, they have to use it on their budget, right, Casey? I think so. Yeah, they, they have, if they have too much, I don't know what too much is, but if they have too much in free cash, so to speak, E&D in their, in their language. I see, so there's a cap on how much they can just say. Carry over, correct. Okay, got it. All right. So this allows them to carry it in something that that makes more sense for the capital projects they yeah, have. Makes, okay, thank you. And they could also 
it says not just with town assessments. So they also right. could increase town assessments to build up this capital stabilization fund, but what it would let them do, I'm just making this up, but I guess what it would let them do is to do bigger capital projects without having their budget go up and down, right? right. It would be- And without having to come rattle the tin cup to the towns. Yeah. Right, yeah. We could tell them, sorry, you're going to have to wait a year if we can't fund stuff like a tennis court. Mm -hmm. Or a truck. What's that? Or a truck. Yeah, or a truck. <laughs> well, so basically, this would mean we we'll probably will wind up paying a higher assessment for this, a somewhat higher assessment for the school but you won't have as many capital expenditure requests from the school. Is that a reasonable summation? Yeah, I, I guess the reason why I'm recommending it is I would hope that this starts to flatten out our, uh, our, our cut of all the capital expenditures in Frontier. I don't know if it'll actually work that way, but here's hoping. Or at least make it predictable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably for them too, because then they have some control. Yeah. We have a motion in a second, right? Yeah. Do we have any further discussion? We sound like we're all in agreement. All those in favor? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next. Uh, this is the airport. Was that a yes? That was a yes. Yes, it passed unanimous. Did Article 12 pass? Yes. Thank you. So Article 14 establishes a stabilization fund for the opioid funds that we've received. It does. And I mentioned it earlier. I don't know that Mark had walked in at that point. I did. Council recommends that we do this. I don't know where the board's going to fall out on it. Um, but as it stands, no changes have been made to how the funds are held. That's what we were hoping would be addressed by the legislature before the end of the fiscal year. There's no guarantee. So what do you mean by how the funds are held? How the funds are held, this creates a capital stabilization or a stabilization fund to hold these monies that we receive. We received what, 32,000, Brenda? So, so far, yep. So we right now we have to hold them as part of a stabilization fund. And you can you hold them and you can use them for certain purposes. And they're identified, those purposes are very strict. So the issue with a stabilization fund is that every time you want to spend money, you have to go to town meeting if it's a small town. You can't just take a it's council. We don't have a council. So right. I don't that I don't was the question by many small towns. I don't think it takes a two-thirds majority to put money into it. But to take it out, it does. To take it, it does. out. It does. So it you takes have, a two thirds to take it out. Yeah, on Article 15, you have a quantum vote, two thirds majority. I don't think on 15 that's required, but I could be wrong. I can ask Lisa to review it. She will. Okay. Um, so it is possible that there'll be legislation that'll that'll choose another vehicle for us to use this. But right now, this is our only choice. If we do this now, we can we can according to DLS, because I asked the question, we can let it fall into free cash. And if there's no decision by next fall, when we have a fall town meeting, we can set up the stabilization fund then and allocate the money to it. Really doesn't matter. It you know If we do it now versus doing it later, it probably doesn't make that much difference. So there's a requirement that this money be used for these specific applications. Right, which is why it needs to be set set aside in a specific vehicle to do so. But if it falls into free cash? If it falls into free cash, we can then allocate it in the fall to a stabilization fund if there's no other possibilities to you, you know, to any other places that we can put it. DLS was just saying that they thought that there would be legislation before the end of the fiscal year that would give us more direction. 
So if we wanted to wait, we could find out what that is and then make that decision. But I think many of the towns are going ahead and doing this. Yes. Are there any of the items in our budget that fall under these categories? I was just wondering that myself. No. Like, can we spend any of this money? Uh, does the police use any of this? Like, Well, I, they're talking about using this. You could use it for Narcan, right? Yes. That's what I was thinking yeah. about. Yeah, same. So maybe our public health nurse or our EMS right. or our police might be able to use money. Mm -hmm. Seems like 32000 by a lot of Narcan. Hopefully it wouldn't. I have no idea. Um, so do we need a motion? Well, I think since the select board has not discussed it yet, right? Should we make this maybe a Monday thing? Yeah. That's I was going to say that I don't think they've decided for sure, right, Casey? They ha Well, they. my indication is that they, at least one member of the board wants to pass this over, but with council telling, giving me the recommendation that we should establish it, because there isn't any particular movement from um, the legislature. And yes, if we roll it to free cash, we have to, we can appropriate. The issue is, is how do you hold the funds if you can only create a stabilization account? So that was why council suggested we create the fund. Um, and then when we can put the money in there, that would allow you to put the money in there in article 15 or art, the next article. Well, sure. Article 15 would just allow me to move it move it out right. of the revenues and into the stabilization fund immediately. It's it's still in the current fiscal year. We don't have to use free cash. It would just, you know, I'd just take the money out of our out of our miscellaneous revenues and stick it in the stabilization fund. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where they're going to fall down. It probably makes sense to wait. Okay. Um, just to clarify, though, is, is this a one-time, it's referred to as a settlement, is this a one-time payment, or is this going to be an annual, is this going to be an income stream, basically? For for five years, right, Casey? Yes. Could, These five, settlements yeah. are tied to, they have specific purposes, and they go on for a specific time period. Okay. Yeah, we've received two payments so far. And that was from an earlier settlement. And then Casey just signed paperwork for some more. So how did we make sure that for those two payments, the money was being spent where it was supposed to be? We haven't spent oh. any of it. Oh, okay. So, so it would have to be placed somewhere where you can spend those monies just for that. Right, right now, our only choice is a stabilization fund. Yes. The legislature might vote something else, but right now, the only way we could do it is a stabilization fund. But DLS has said, if you want to wait till the end of the year and let it fall into free cash, you just need to make sure that you use free cash to, to um, put the money wherever the legislature says you can put it by the time we vote in the fall or by the time we have our meeting in the fall. This almost seems like a big pile of legal exposure not doing this. Probably. I think that's why Lisa said we should. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you, as much as I want to wait for Monday to see what the select board is saying, like, I, this seems like a silly thing to get in legal trouble for. We might have to and pay more we than keep, we get. I mean, we're, we're already paying a bunch of legal fees now. I don't know if we want to pay more for misappropriating <laughs> funds. No, we're not paying for this particular item. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, yet. Like, you know, I'm just saying, yeah, you know, if if this money, the purpose of this money gets lost to time somehow and, you know, we get caught in an audit, that would be very silly of us to, you know, be in Is that there position. Is there a downside to voting for it? I don't know. So if you make the stabilization fund, we put the money in the stabilization fund, and then later the legislator decides something different. We change it. We would have then a stabilization fund. Then we would have to create a new could... fund and disestablish the stabilization fund. So it would be another warrant article. I, I would assume that legislature is just going to give us another choice. So I'm sure. Oh, so you could leave it in My the thought is that fund. the stabilization fund is still going to be a vehicle that you could use for it, but they're going to offer another, maybe another choice that might be easier. 
you know, right now, if you do a stabilization fund, then Sarah has another bank account she needs to keep track of and um, that kind of thing. But, uh, but there's no guarantee. It's going to do. So one of the reasons they chose stabilization funds as the, as the method to hold the funding, to hold the money, is because it does require attention, intent to spend the money. Yeah, I'm actually going to make a motion. The federal government wanted to be very clear about that because I think I'm it was like part of the idea. settlements. I, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a motion to recommend Article 14 is written. Second. Hey, any discussion? All those in favor? So Article 15 just funds the stabilization fund we just talked about with the money that you've gotten, right? Correct. Make a motion to recommend Article 15 is written. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Um, okay. On Article 15, it says it says dedicate all or a percentage, which may not be less than 25 percent. Well, I thought we had to do 100 percent. This is straight from council, Brenda. OK, this literally is straight. I did not write this. She gave it to me. Well, this is a big deal. And it and it says for fiscal year 24, beginning on July 1, no, I would want to do this right now so that we move the funds directly out of revenue right now and into this fund. Why would we want to wait? I think it's because people are writing it to begin in the next fiscal year. The the This is circling a bunch of towns. Well, so then we would have to take it out of free cash. I can ask no other means. If I can't take it out of revenue, I got to take it out of free cash. So the best thing I can do right now is ask. That's all I can do. Okay. Can, can we? So this one actually says the Article 14 says the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2023. Oh, it does also. Effective for fiscal year 24, beginning huh. July 1st. For the purposes of using opioid seven, I think. Oh, because you know what? I think when you set up a stabilization fund, it has to be effective on the beginning of the fiscal year, doesn't it? Is that the deal? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let me write myself a note. Sorry. That's why we talk about these things. I, well, I didn't look at them in any detail because I I wanted to pass over them. <laughs> Oh, you did? Because <laughs> you don't want another stabilization fund. Right. <laughs> it seems like we're getting them right and left all of a sudden. Yeah. Section 5B, fourth paragraph. So if you can't start it till July 1st, then it kind of... It has to come out of free cash. It defeats the purpose because in the meantime, you have to store it in free cash, right? And then possibly by July 1st, you would have heard about another option. Right. Hmm. Oh, so this is where, you see, can I share my screen for a second? So why is the timing important? Because right now I have it in miscellaneous revenues. And if this gets set up as of, the date of our meeting, then I can just move those monies into a stabilization fund pretty, pretty easily. Otherwise, if this is set to start on July 1, our only our only source of funding for this is, is free cash. So we'll have certified, less certified free cash then, right? Well, if we'd we have less, way. correct. We'd have less money to carry over, which would mean we'd have less money that's gonna be certified. Either way, it's gonna be less one way or another but I was hoping it would be easy to just move the money in, like kind of like what we did with Skims rent rent. Okay. We did that vote 
initially to come out of free cash, but now every time we get a payment from SKIMS, it part of it goes directly into that stabilization fund. I, I guess I'm still not getting something. If we have the money right now, right? You have it in one of the in the town's what general miscellaneous revenue account. And you could move it into a, new, a stabilization fund now. But if we wait until July 1st, it vanishes like fairy gold? Correct. It so goes, it goes into our, it's, it's, it's on, on July 1, we start a whole new fiscal year. Right. So it would have, it would have just been in revenues until July 1. So on July 1, I, I, the only way, the only way we can fund this at town meeting on Monday is to fund it from free cash. So can I say something? But the, 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 sure. The, uh, no, I'll let, Oh, Julie, okay. So, but the but I'm those miscellaneous running. revenues goes into free cash at the same time, right? So, if it's in revenue right now and we don't allocate it before June thirtieth, it just falls into free cash. Right. But free cash doesn't get certified till September. Right. So. So I can't use that free cash. We've got to use the current free cash. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're gonna have a lot less free cash if this goes through. Well, either way, yeah. Yeah. But now I'm confusing myself. So, so can I say something, please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I actually have an answer for this. So sure. Brenda, remember when I told you earlier that Lisa said we should get in touch with DOR and have them revise our free cash with this revenue? That's probably why. That's probably why. But that's stupid for $32,000. I'm not going to go. I'm not. But see, that's the problem. Business. We're now in a conundrum if we Sorry, don't. I'm, I'm being a snotty little brat, but. <laughs> don't be snotty. Well, but it's not worth the effort. For, What's that? Like, it's not worth the effort when it's going to no, show. No, I don't think anyway. so. For $32,000, just reduce what we're going to carry forward, I guess. Well, so you've answered the question. But we also don't know if we're going to get additional funds from these other we settlements between now and June thirtieth. So then, what? right? Well, what would happen? Would they just go into the same situation as? I don't know how. I, that's so. If we don't do that. this until fall town meeting. We'll have certified free cash. At right, that. and we would know how much money we collected in this fiscal year. So, so maybe me, it made sense to wait until the fall to do it walk back but I, think, I i see where you're i see what you're doing yeah i, I get it I, or i see what you're talking about yeah yeah i'm i'm, I'm immediately regretting this i think that we should <laughs> no, I, I would like to make a motion I, I don't know if you can make a motion to not recommend but yeah. i i would like it to make a motion to not recommend article 14. so you're amending your motion to make it a not recommend well we already voted we already so voted we it a, yeah so now he's making a new motion I am. I, I, is this like the prohibition <laughs> amendments where, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm agreeing though. We let's make let's uh, make your motion. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a motion not to recommend Article 14. I second right. that. Okay. All right. So, so currently you have moved to recommend Article 15 as written. Well, we're going to. Oh, but now you're moving to. Oh, oh, wait, I'm oh, just going to scrape it for track no, that. You voted 15 also. Oh, yeah, you I thought so. Yeah. You did it before I could talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did have that part when we were talking about 14 where we're like is there anything wrong with doing this now and everyone's like nope <laughs> so now we're here so anyways all right we yeah. can track both of them yeah Make so wait a minute wait a minute if go ahead casey <laughs> well i'm thinking you can create the stabilization fund you don't have to fund it in this one but you could right you could have it established and then in the fall fund it so I was wondering about that. So do we just retract 15 then? Is that what we're saying? That's what I think. Is that so what you think we should ask, do? ask the select board to pass it over or ask, you know, indicate that you would prefer it be passed over until we can settle the funding? Yeah, because it's that's exactly what it is. It's a settlement issue. So um it's not so much that we, you know, don't have the money, it's it's just the settlement of the free cash and everything. So and if you make the stabilization fund, then you're you're doing what's being asked. It's just that you're not funding it right away. Right. Yeah. You're trusting me to keep track of everything. Right. You do it. I think I'm trustworthy. All right. So for the gentleman making the minutes, I retract my motion. 
<laughs> to not recommend did 14. Vote, okay, did we vote on 15? We did. Yes. Okay. Unanimously. So you're going to have to make a motion to not to recommend, recommend okay. 15. I and said. I withdraw my motion to not recommend 14. Okay, right. I second both of those. I'm just kidding. Thank you. I'm just ignore that whole thing. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But okay. Moves to recommend, moves to withdraw recommendation of Article 50. Yes. So now we can vote on the new motion. Okay. And that you second. Yes. So right now we have a motion on the table for Finance Committee to withdraw our recommendation for Article 15. So if this motion passes, then Casey just will write nothing under Article 15 about what Finance Committee thinks. We're just going to leave it blank. And then if it passes over, we're all happy. That's, we're agreed with that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Any discussion? We've discussed ourselves. Yep. To us, sir. All those in favor? All right. That passes. <laughs> Okay, so nothing under Article 15. Nothing for under Article 15. We still recommend Article 14. Okay. Thank you. Brenda, are we are we feeling better now? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> Much better. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Article 16. Chief Any town flag. meeting. Warn us. <laughs> We're stepping away. Oh, I need to stop sharing. Sorry. So, but if you look at the, um, this is the mass general law and it says right in it, not less than 25% of a particular fee, which is probably why Lisa put oh, that less okay. than 25% in. Right. Because that's what the law says when you're establishing a fund. A fund. Okay. Oh, it says all or. I see, but in the, in regards to the opioid funds, we would have to put in a hundred percent. So here's the other kicker. Read the last sentence, which is shall be effective for at least three fiscal years. I will circle back around with council on this, but it's. Yeah, and, and I see why she did it on July 1, because it says it shall be made before the fiscal year in which the dedication or termination is, uh, is, is to commence. I get it. That's just the way we had to do it with the enterprise fund, too. So that makes sense. I know. You're not happy. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Well, I'd, I'd be fine with, with voting 14 and then passing over 15. I think that would make sense to me. Okay. And, and then we do that in the fall, but. And then if another vehicle, is that the right word? Comes, um, it is available to us. We could vote that other vehicle and use that and just never fund this stabilization fund. And then at some point, disestablish the stabilization fund and move on. Correct. Yeah, in three years, we could. I was going to say that at some point, three years later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, basically. basically. We'll remember. We know, what? After I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You can keep rubbing that in. This is town meeting date. Yes, so I explained as best I could to counsel the moderator um, that this was part of this comes from reviewing the budget, um, that it definitely came up this year because we have a new governor and that happens every four to eight years, depending. But for purposes of really digging into the budget, you really only have a month. And so I tried to make that clear. Um, you, there may be questions about this, um, and I did indicate that you that research had been done about where to sort of place this if we were to move town meeting to May, based on the explanation that I had. Research done by whom? Me. <laughs> you? Yeah. Okay. Well, it, you know, if, if we're going to move it to a Saturday in May, it made sense to be the third Saturday, because if you did the second Saturday, that would be maybe over Mother's Day weekend. And if you did the fourth Saturday, that would be um, Memorial Day weekend. Memorial still Day time. weekend. So yep. the third Saturday in May, if you're moving it to a Saturday, makes perfect sense. I get that. That makes that makes great sense. And not waiting till June. I think June is just putting it off too long. Yeah, well, we, we all, I think. When we discussed this last time, we all agreed that it should be before the ending of the school year because otherwise right. families will be yeah. going on vacation. Right. So this is fun fair this year. 
I don't know if it's always fun fair is always the third Saturday, but oh, this year it's fun fair. Session. What is that? There you go. It's a uh, carnival at the elementary school. Oh, so there's so. babysitting. There you go. <laughs> oh, but all those parents need to know. me in those boots. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if I like this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what more could you want to do for your birthday than go to town, town meeting? <laughs> so, well, what did Dan say about this? So, yeah. initially, Dan was not pleased. Um, <laughs> it wasn't, he was sort of couching. I didn't take his temperature on it directly when I talked to him today, except to indicate that this probably could give him some heartburn if it's a Saturday town meeting. Um, and I understand why I've worked with evening town meetings and Saturday town meetings. Um, and I explained to him, you know, this can be incentive to get more people there. Then again, you have the flip, which is a lot of younger families have activities on Saturdays. So sometimes it's hard to get that age group there. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. And I said, you know, essentially by putting it to town meeting, we asked the legislative body for the consideration do our best to explain what the purpose of this request for consideration was and see what they say. So did he opine at all in that discussion? No, he was pretty quiet about it. Was it the Saturday thing versus just the moving at the three weeks? I think it was more, um, the select board not consulting him about this article. Which so he felt blindsided, like yeah, out of the blue, basically. so moving his meeting and this his meeting. Yeah. Well, but the warrant is not his. The warrant is the select board's. The yeah. meeting is the moderator's. So there's that distinction. Um, it would have been polite, but <laughs> well. And then we'll see what he, he probably won't say much. He doesn't usually mm -hmm. at town meeting. And if finance committee doesn't recommend it, fine. If the select board, so far the select board could put it, they could decide to pass over it as in the middle of town meeting if they wanted to. But it is for the benefit of the finance committee. It, yeah, it is. So, we so we ask Dan what his opinions are on this, like directly. Yeah. yeah. I almost. I'm, I mean, I don't. I don't see anything wrong with this, particularly other than we didn't check with Dan, which is kind of a big deal. So, yeah. Um, I'd almost want to see if we could chat with him and then revisit this maybe on Monday. Okay. You know, we we are meeting. Tomorrow night. Yeah, I, mean, tomorrow, so I, I was sitting there thinking about the select board and the oh no, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> so on mon Monday, we only so far have article 11. Tomorrow, we're doing scams and maybe this or this on Monday. Um, if I can get feedback, I'll, I'll email Dan this evening. And if we get feedback by tomorrow, we can talk about it tomorrow. And if we don't, we okay. can talk about it on there's Monday. No motions. Yeah, there's no motion. So Article 17 adds a special town meeting. So I wrote I wrote both of these um, only because oh, like so so like <laughs> um, so here's the, here's the background. Casey mentioned it to me last summer sometime, and I'm like. Yeah, if we can get more time to review the budget, I'm all over that. And I want to make sure this gets on the warrant. So I wrote it and gave it to Casey. Casey in that process said we could also have a regular special town meeting so that people knew what the date was. So I went ahead and wrote verbiage to go with that just because I was already working on this. I am not, I, I don't really care either way personally, but. Um, well, it, it makes sense so that people can plan for it so that people yeah. don't say, Oh, gee, you put that on a special town meeting so you could you could do it without sneak it by us. Sneak yeah. it by. Right. Well, this Safe way the, the meeting's out there. And if we choose not to have a fall town meeting, you just cancel it. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's a very neat solution. It, it means that it's a there's a 
there's a slot for it and we're mm -hmm. designating that and everybody knows it, but it doesn't have to happen. Right. So, so this is another Saturday meeting. It could be a, an evening meeting. Instead. It could be. So I, I wonder if we should ask Dan about this one too. And then also, wasn't the timing of the library grant kind of later? Like, I, I wonder like if, if we have a, a scheduled special town meeting, that if if things like the library grant come through, we might have to have a third town meeting. Yeah, which... you can have as many town meetings as you want, Mark. Well, I know, but, we don't but, that many. but... no, we don't. <laughs> so I know, but that was the comment so earlier if today. I, if I remember meeting. the chronology. The MBLC decision came down in something like August, July, or August. Right. And then you know we just said, well, okay, so we'll bring this to the special town meeting in in October, which I think had already been planned. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that like what happened last year um, would have been out of cycle for this one. I'm I'm just wondering like you know if something like that were to happen and it didn't work out to our favor, we could potentially have to have a third meeting. Is all, but I mean. October is kind of late enough where that might not be an issue. I don't know. I'm just sorry. Yeah, I was there. wondering the same thing. Or if something came up and you really needed a vote on it by, I don't know what, September 15th or something. And then well, I here you were still. There's nothing in this that would prevent the select board from calling a snap town meeting. And That's true. If and canceling this, this one. Yes. And you could cancel this one because if you held all the oh, information okay. before. All right. Right. There's language to cancel it. And most of the time when you see a town do something like this, it's because they expect regular business within a certain time frame. Yeah, not for conspiring to push a right thing through. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what people say. I don't, you know, I just do what y'all tell me to do. <laughs> <laughs> do we so this this verbiage here has been published, huh? Yes. Doesn't mean you can't change something. It's a general bylaw. I'm, I'm going to raise the question of whether this has any financial impact on the town. Mm. Because it doesn't. Yeah, I see. Just pass over or say we do not see any financial impact. Don't we have to pay the moderator? We do. So there's, it does have financial ramifications because when we use the school, we have to pay certain things. We have to pay for the janitors to be on site. Um, we usually with a town meeting have to pay for the AV pieces because that isn't available at Frontier. Right. Um, but, we have to pay people to do check-in and stuff, but, but that's this, true for any special or town meeting. Exactly. This is not committing us to have a special town meeting every year. It is merely saying that if we have one, it will be on this date. Right. And so if we have a special town meeting, it's going to cause whatever having a special town meeting costs. But yep. that is true regardless of what date it's on. And that could help us plan for those things that might yeah. end up on a special. So one element that could be helpful to do this is it gives the school an idea of when we could we would intend to hold a special. Because that's a planning exercise for them too. Yeah. Before we set a special date now, I we have to get the office has to get in touch with the school and see if the spaces are available. Which changes dates. Did we sometimes check on this? Is this a good time for us to use the school? No. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. It's a Saturday. I know. It's pretty early on a Saturday for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I yeah. guess even like a school play might, you know, they might be having a weekend performance of a school musical, but those typically would be yeah. afternoon or evening. Not usually in October. Okay, so what's what do we want to do about this? Are we waiting for this one for Dan too? That might be a bad idea. Just to yeah, give him the might as well. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to, do you think there's any financial implications? I don't really actually. I don't think, think so, is. actually, yeah. So do we want to just not comment on 17? Yeah. That's okay with me. All right. I, I move that we state that we are not commenting on it. 
Um, finance committee makes no recommendation. Do we, are we voting on that? Do we have a second? To what? Um, no financial impact? On Article 17? On Article 17. Due to, um, no. what's the word for essentially no? Um, no significant financial. No significant. I move that we make no recognition recommendation because there is no significant financial impact. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? That passes for zero zero. All right, Article 18. Article 18, uh, we found out had been already voted in 2007. Yeah. Pass over. We're passing it over. And 19, we did. 19, we're already done. We did. Yeah. We did it. Yeah. Hey, that. We're through. Okay. So I'm going to email Dan. We're going to meet tomorrow about scams. That's Imagine nice their meeting's not over yet. Okay. 5 30 tomorrow. 5 30 tomorrow, remote only. Um, oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's on the same. Go ahead, Casey. Um, so that you guys did recommend 19, right? We yes. did. Yes. Yep. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure I was right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 5 30 tomorrow, remote only. We're going to talk about scams, and if I get hold of Dan, we'll talk about the town meeting date. And then if we posted for Thursday in case um, the whatever, in case we get a, a quorum at that meeting, at the information, um, at the information session. Um, I'm in Boston that day, so I'll be driving like mad to get here. Um, I was listening to your it. meeting while we were doing that last so, week. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, I think we're done. Well, Are we done? Is there anything else we need to talk about? Do okay. adjourn. Second. All those in favor? All right, 734. Woo that is a record. Thank you. <laughs>